All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So, right fast, guys, got a couple things to go over with everybody. Right now, I'm currently testing out a new microphone. It's one of those lab mics. So, I'm trying to bring better audio quality to the videos. Usually, I use a shotgun mic. But I have some questions that um, people have been asking. All right, uh, one was the survival buckets, you know, burying your own food. Uh, there should be a pop up here, guys, on the whole process and well the beginning process we've shown digging putting it in the ground we did a video where we pulled a bucket out that's four months past uh, after we buried it uh, guys this stuff i've been doing this stuff for a very long time i've successfully pulled up to a year now i don't pull past that because this is something people need to understand when you're putting food in the ground and if it's normal food canned goods dry goods uh, that still needs to be in rotation just like a normal rotational stock all right so your pantry of your canned beans and all that all that good stuff you're rotating it all right you buy something new you put it in it gets rotated out same thing with the ground all right same thing with anything you put in the ground you got to do it now you can go ahead and put long-term food storage in buckets that stuff lasts 25 years okay so 25 years you don't have to sit there and dig that back up long-term food storage is expensive more expensive than uh normal dry goods canned goods i've always told people to buy your normal foods first food that you eat store that up up to two years before you get long-term food storage yeah and i'm i actually sell it i actually sell long-term food stores i'm telling you to go get your normal foods first and if you decide to get long-term food stores make sure you check out our links we've done extensive review testing on a bunch of them august and farms legacy food we've been affiliated with them for a very long time and uh nutrient survival so that's up to you if you want to do that we do store that but we want everybody to get normal foods first now let's see here uh i'm over here in the garden another thing uh you need to start growing food uh, we do we do um we're we're not play pretend preppers here on youtube we actually do what we say we do we live off grid with solar we grow our own gardens uh right here my brother's got his quails rocking and rolling right here so we produce quail and my brother's channel is ultimate s and s should be a nice little pop up there for you uh chickens yep we got chickens going we stock up store up chicken feed i've shown shown videos on that uh so we've got our chickens rocking in a rolling there also bees now ah, let me get you a nice little close-up in here honey bees don't bother me none so yeah besides uh coming on here and talking about current events and stuff like that trying to get people to prepare we actually are preppers we push ourselves all the time we're always working on something um, so to help answer those questions yeah we're the real deal on top of everything else I teach outdoor survival actually I went and did other survival courses all over the country by the way and most recently was the Pathfinder course up in uh, Jackson Ohio I got to meet Corpus Corner Dave Canterbury and a handful of other great instructors so yeah and I got patched um, so when I open up my own business teaching outdoor survival it's because I actually do it so that's another reason why I went and got this mic this lab mic this was a $50 lab mic and then it didn't work turns out it was a, an adapter issue I had to fix but I wanted to get better quality audio and stuff like that because I'm doing more and more outdoor survival stuff trust me i got a lot of tripods microphones all kind of stuff and special thanks to x24 prepper for hooking us up with that awesome action camera definitely do appreciate that brother gives me more angles and more shots to work with so right fast i want to definitely thank all the channels that have been helping support us guys we we got locked out of our channel about a month ago and i thought we lost it we got hacked i couldn't get into my google account everything was locked down and we're back we had a whole bunch of channels pull together because we work well with community that's something that i always push work with community don't sit there and try to tear people down and stuff like that there's no reason for that 
just focus on yourself you know some of the things that we do here might not be applicable for you might not be okay um, excuse my speech I got electrocuted many years ago and I don't have the best speech pattern so I know people like to point that out because I slur some words or I say some words wrong yeah well after you've been electrocuted then come talk to me so uh, what else we got well we got a rainstorm coming in uh, yeah just wanted to test this microphone out guys and make sure everything's audio and stuff like that's working this Friday I'm doing another five day survival camp out uh, all I get to do is take all my camera gear which weighs a lot and I get a knife and a pot that's all I get this trip so no big deal I've done situations with less but I'm you know now I get to film everything because if it's not on film it didn't happen that's the way I look at it so with the aid of our drones and everything else that we have for filming purposes I'm hoping it will come out to be a very good video it should be a nice little pop-up there for you guys of uh, our most recent one I took one of those small uh, kits that you see in the store a little $60 kit and did a five-day survival off of that showing you how to collect water you find drinkable water how to purify water without a cup without a piece of metal yeah luckily for me I did find a uh, two beer cans I also found a beer bottle out there too um, which I use later on but I want to show people how to make condensation bags how to flash boil water for purification things like that so there are ways to survive even with limited or no gear you just have to have the skills and the knowledge to do it and that brings me to another topic a lot of people get upset with me but the fact is I actually live this I was a train rider for a year and a half I had to survive with my survival skills and no I'm not talking about Amtrak I'm talking about freight regular hobo uh, you can have all the knowledge and books but until you practice those skills you're in for a rude awakening all right just like the bow drill I lost my ferrocene rod when I was out there that last time I put it in my pocket my zipper came open when I was on my transportation out there because I took a bike with me and I lost it don't know where is that uh, I traveled 27 miles during that trip 27 miles it could have dropped anywhere and I had to use a bow drill well fortunate for me I do bow drills all the time so that's another thing though just because you read about bow drills or seen a youtuber do a bow drill completely different until you put your own hands on it because you have to know your speed your pressure you have to be able to read the stages of smoke it's a lot harder than what people think it is can you do it absolutely all it takes is practice that's it but when you're dying of thirst or you're freezing and you get a fire going but your lighter broke which is in your back pocket and you sat down on a rock yeah I did that I did that as a train rider. I was outside of uh, Mount Shasta near Dunsmere. Sat down, crack, there goes my lighter. Snowing like crazy. So, yeah, it sucks. It does happen. This is why we teach outdoor survival skills. And I see some people, they know, they, they fight it. I don't need to know that. If I need to learn outdoor survival skill, it means I didn't prep correctly. <laughs> Yeah, when, when my house burnt down in Oregon, I lost everything except for what food and supplies I did have off-site. Yeah. Imagine during full-blown SHTF, your house catches fire. You lose everything because you didn't bother moving food around or you got a mob of people rolling in on you. The whole thousand rounds, I'll go down, die, I'll go down with my gun in my hand. Well, you know, that's an option for you. Go right ahead. I value my life. I, I don't give up. Okay. It, should you self defend? Do you self defense? Absolutely. But I believe you need to be doing more tactful, tactful ideas and scenarios. Just standing there at your home, you're, you're a stationary target. You are not going to win. All right. I know people don't want to hear that. It's just, hey, you know, I speak truth here. That's what I, that's what I speak. I speak truth. Okay. And I hear it all the time, especially when I'm doing my outdoor workout videos and stuff like that, because I believe preppers need to get their bodies in shape. I do. People don't like hearing that because they either, one, don't want to do it, two, they might have a disability, something like that. Hey, I got disabilities too. Everybody's disability is different. We're not the same. I got a torn rotator cuff. 
I got a messed up knee surgery job. I got three lower discs in my back that are messed up and I got one at the base of my skull that's jacked up. I actually lose my sense of balance and get massive migraines from that one all the time. Somebody had left a comment, I see you got a big bottle of leave. You know what? At least I'm not on uh, prescription painkillers. You know, they offered it to me. It made me too stupid, made me really addicted to it. I liked them. I knew that was a problem, so I quit using them. So I use a leaf. Big whoop. I, I guess I see people get so, so hung up on stuff. You're a smoker. You're damn right I'm a smoker. I also dip. I curse. I like having sex with my wife. Oh, wow. Better not say that in today's society. It's amazing how the snowflake mentality has weaved itself into the prepper communities. Really. Especially the ones that don't do. And I can always spot you guys. The ones that don't do. I read your comment. I do. I read every comment. Well, let's see. Blah, blah. You know. I live what I'm saying. Every time I say something, I prove what I'm saying. When I'm saying this works, that means it works. Because I do it. Just like we live off grid with our trailer. No power. The only thing that we have uh, that's technically grid is that we're hooked up to a well pump that pumps in the ground. My solar, my wind turbines, my battery banks, all that stuff, I can power up that well if the grid goes down. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, guys, definitely do appreciate you hanging out with us. Make sure that you do subscribe. Um, for those that have subscribed, welcome to the community. Am I a little brash at times? No. Well, yeah, I guess. But I want to speak truth, and I don't sit there and play around and hide around the point and stuff. I get directly to the point as much as I possibly can, and I tell you what my thoughts are and how things are. Because unlike many others, we actually live it. We show you what we do. Big difference between talking, you know, oh man, you need to be doing this, we actually show you what we're doing. Food for thought. All right, guys. Catch y'all later.